Okay, in this video, I'm going to be addressing the sons of God in Genesis 6. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate for something for you that I've been talking about. That if you are ingesting counterfeit Christianity, if you are willy-nilly listening to YouTube sermons and doctrines of man, if you are not taking the responsibility to study the word alongside by the Spirit of God, and be in him first yourself, you're going to be deceived. I'm going to show you right now how a little leaven rises the whole lump, how a little bit of false doctrine messes up the entire picture. Genesis 6. When humans began to increase in number on the earth and daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of humans were beautiful and they married any of them they chose. What have you been taught about the sons of God? Have you been taught that those are fallen angels? Where does it say that those are fallen angels? Do angels have flesh? Do fallen angels, angels of Satan have flesh that they could fornicate with human women? No, they don't. And the angels of God have glorified bodies. They don't fornicate with human beings. Where did that doctrine even come from? So a question was presented to me, I think it was a couple weeks ago in Bible study or last week in Bible study. Who are the sons of God? Why are they referred to? Why are actually, why are these fallen angels referred to as sons of God? Well, they're not fallen angels. Scripture does not indicate that they are fallen angels. It indicates that they are sons of God. And what have the sons of God been chosen? You are not to marry foreign women. And so what you're seeing here is when human beings began to increase in number on the earth and the daughters were born to them, the sons of God saw that the daughters of humans were beautiful and they married any of them they chose. That was the issue. These false doctrines have come from Hollywood. They've come from counterfeit Christianity, counterfeit sermons, counterfeit commentaries. Where's our personal accountability for reading the word ourselves and understanding? By his spirit. Or do we just like a little bird, open our mouths and eat whatever is fed to us, even defiled food. These are not fallen angels. These are sons of God. They are creations of God who we're told to be a holy nation unto him. Do not marry foreign women. If you marry foreign women, you will serve their foreign gods. The sons of God saw that the daughters of humans were beautiful and they married any of them they chose. Then the Lord said, my spirit will not contend with humans forever for they are mortal. Their days will be 120 years. Also, not talking about fallen angels, he's talking about humans. The Nephilim were on the earth in those days and also afterward when the sons of God went to the daughters of humans and had children by them. They were the heroes of old, men of renown. Do you know what Nephilim is? A Nephilim is a giant. That's all it is. The Lord saw how great the wickedness of the human race had become on the earth and that every inclination of the thoughts of the human heart was only evil at that time. The Lord regretted that he had made humans on, human beings on the earth and his heart was deeply troubled. So the Lord said, I will wipe from the face of the earth the, the, the human race I have created and with them the animals, the birds, the creatures that move along the ground for I regret that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. No angels. No mention of angels. So yeah, it would be confusing if God, if the word was referring to angels of Satan or angels who work with Satan, because really Satan doesn't have anything of himself. He has not created anything and he doesn't own anything. But angels who work with Satan, bad angels, there's no mention of that. Nephilim is not the offspring of angel and human, nor do angels have human bodies by which to fornicate with human women. A little false doctrine will taint the entire picture. It will mess up the entire picture. It is your job to discern the shepherds and the message. So this is what happens when we don't love truth. This is what happens when we are not single-minded and being led and instructed by God. We're handed, to handed over to deception when we do not love truth. If you love truth, you're going to go to the source of truth. And the source of truth is going to tell you who his shepherds are. You're going to hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it. You'll know who his shepherds are. But many of you are just willy-nilly listening to everything that everybody says. Now let's take a look at Second Peter verse 4. 
For if God did not spare angels when they sinned, but sent them to hell, putting them in chains of darkness to be held for judgment, if he did not spare the ancient world when he brought the flood on its godly, ungodly people, but protected Noah, a preacher of righteousness, and seven others, if he condemned the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah by burning them to ashes and made them an example of what is going to happen to the ungodly, and if he rescued Lot, a righteous man who was distressed by the depraved conduct of the lawless, for that righteous man living among them day after day was tormented in his righteous soul by the lawless deeds he saw and heard. If this is so, then the Lord knows how to rescue the, the godly from trials and to hold the unrighteous for punishment on the day of judgment. I believe, I, you know, I really don't know, but I believe that this is being used in some way to justify that fluffy doctrine that Nephilim were the offspring of humans and angels. But it's simply not true. Look at the way this is written. For if God did not spare the angels when they sinned, but sent them to hell, putting them in chains of darkness to be held for judgment, semicolon, it's not the same event as the next thing he's about to say. If he did not spare the ancient world when he brought the flood on the ungodly people, but protected Noah, a preacher of righteousness and seven others, semicolon. So he's going to go on to something else that he did. But I believe that unstable people, what they have done is just made that a run-on sentence as though those two things go together. Sorry, but it doesn't go together. Angels don't fornicate with human beings. So that's it. I hope that clears up the doctrine. Thank you so much for listening and God bless you.